。好，第六条啦，就有关于生态系统嘅题目。喺个海洋入面呢，就有一条食物链啦，有单細胞嘅浮游植物啦。有輪蝦啦，跟住去到鯨魚嘅，佢哋屬於唔同嘅 trophic level 食性層次啦，佢哋嘅能量呢亦都俾咗大家啦。咁啊 part A 啦，就考我哋計數咯喎，就計下呢，由浮游植物去到輪蝦呢，究竟嗰個能量損失咗幾多啊？其實 percentage decrease 呢。就係、是、百分比嘅下降啊嘛，咁即係能量流失啦，係咪 ？Part 咧咧，自不然就考我哋算術啦。基礎嘅百分比改變嗰條式呢，就係新減舊除舊。如果得出嚟嘅答案係正數，就係百分比嘅增加；如果得出嚟嘅答案係負數，就係百分比嘅下降減少啦。咁而家啦，新減舊除舊，由輪蝦減返浮游植物嘅能量，再除返浮游植物嘅能量呢，就係一百萬減一千萬除返一千萬。咁答案呢，就係負九十 percent， 亦即係話咧。个百分比下降咧，就系九十个 percent， 亦即系能量损失，亦都系九十个 percent。咁但系啦，而家如果你用 percentage change 计出嚟嘅答案咧，应该系负数嚟嘅。咁但系而家个题目讲到明啦，系 percentage decrease， 已经系下降嘅百分比，亦都真系见得到噶嘛。浮游植物咧就有一千万嘅能量。而輪蝦呢，就得一百萬嘅能量，而基於今次真係要計緊一個下降嘅百分比呢，所以我哋期望嘅答案呢，都應該係正數嚟嘅，所以呢，我哋就用返舊減新除舊啦，就係一千萬減返一百萬，再除返一千萬啦，咁所以答案呢，亦都係九十個 percent。咁 Part B 呢，就係非常直白直接嘅題目啦，點解由低啲嘅食性層次上到高啲嘅食性層次呢？嗰、那個能量係越嚟越下降㗎喎。咁當然我哋 food chain 就學過啦，一定係有能量流失嘅。而呢個能量流失係基於乜嘢嘅原因呢？咁啊，書本都有㗎啦，就係、是、一個冇被食咗嘅 body 啦，一個生物佢消化唔到嘅部分啦，又或者咧一隻生物咧，佢透過呼吸作用用咗嘅能量啦，又或者一啲排泄出嚟嘅產物嘅。咁所以答案亦都顯然易見啦。其中一款就係、是。唔一定係成隻嘢會俾人食晒嘅，咁可能得一部分俾人食咗去呢。咁第二個啦，就係話啦，即使個能量傳咗上去啦，佢哋自己可能會用咗去，即係啦，佢喺未俾人食之前已經靜悄悄地死咗，佢都唔係俾隻鯨魚食，佢都唔係俾隻輪蝦食，咁自不然亦都傳唔到落去下一層啦。跟住 Pass， 佢就講啦，有另一條嘅食物鏈。今次個生產者就係一棵樹，而佢初級消費者呢，就係啲毛蟲啊。咁究竟啦，呢一個食物鏈佢嗰個食性層次之間嘅能量流失，究竟會係大啲定係細啲呢？跟住解釋你嘅答案，所以有兩個部分啊。究竟呢條題目呢，就考我哋啦，究竟嗰個消費者係食啲乜嘢嘅呢？第一條 food chain。由浮游植物去鳞虾，去到呢个鲸鱼呢，啲鳞虾呢係食晒成隻嘅浮游植物，而个鲸鱼呢亦都係吞晒所有嘅鳞虾嘅。咁当然啦，你话个虾壳佢消唔消化得晒呢、這个就未知啦。但起码你係食晒成隻鳞虾先啦，係咪？但系啦，去到第二个 food chain， 一棵树去到个毛虫嘅话。雖然啲能量係由棵樹去毛蟲，但係其實啲毛蟲就只係食啲葉嘅啫，即係話成個樹幹啦、樹皮啦、條根啦，係冇俾人食到，即係成棵樹，即使啲樹葉俾人食晒，成棵樹光秃秃都仲響樹嘅。所以根據能量流失嘅其中一個原因呢，就係、是、未被食咗嘅。身體部分，咁所以呢個能量流失喺樹去到毛蟲嘅呢條食物鏈呢，係大咗嘅。原因呢，就係因為啲毛蟲主要就係食啲葉，成棵植物嘅生物質量呢，都仍然係冇被食用嘅。好多同學呢，都係答得到呢嗰個 percentage decrease 呢，係大咗，即係個能量流失呢，其實係會多咗嘅。但係佢哋個原因就話啦，因為棵樹呢大棵啲。喎。咁當然啦，棵樹的確係大棵啲嘅。雖然呢句説話係真確嘅，但係唔代表佢係一個正確嘅解釋。你試想一下，如果一棵大樹竟然有另一款嘅生物係成棵樹食咗佢嘅，幻想下有一款好新發現嘅毛毛蟲啦，佢唔單止食樹葉㗎，食埋啲樹皮㗎，食埋個樹根㗎，食晒成棵嘢㗎。咁其實棵樹有幾大棵，個 bar mass 有幾大
会唔会话哦？因为棵树本身好大棵噶，所以佢能量流失都好大噶。唔会啊，因为今次我真系成棵树食鬼咗你啊！当我哋判断一个能量由一个食性层次去到另一个食性层次之间个能量流失多与少呢。我哋其中一個嘅想法就係喺在上位嘅食性層次嘅生物呢，究竟佢點樣去食留下嗰個食性層次嘅生物啦？好，又去到一點出發啦。今次嘅題目呢，就由食物鏈開始嘅。咁考我哋嘅咩呢？食物鏈代表住乜嘢？代表住一個攝食嘅關係，就係、是、食性層次，邊個食邊個。第二，亦都係考緊我哋嘅能量流動。今次考我哋嘅係能量流失。下次考我哋嘅就係能量嘅来源啦，佢会问你啦，喂，成个食物链呢，究竟佢个终极能量来源喺边度？自不然就係太阳 （sunlight energy） 啦，係咪？咁除此之外啦，仲有啲咩嘢可以引申出嚟呢？就係、是、生产者嘅重要性啦。如果所有植物死晒嘅话，又会有啲咩嘅后果呢？又或者能量流失啦，我哋又可以再问你，喎，究竟有咩辦法可以减少个能量流失呢？」例如啦，我哋将个食物链縮短佢，由草。去牛去人，不如人直接食草啦。嗱，如果你夠膽嘅话，啊，即系简单嚟讲，你话唔食草咪食蔬菜咯。咁咁，起码已经缩减咗一个层次，自不然系能够减少到九十 percent 嘅能量流失啦，系咪？我哋学完 food chain 之后咧，其实我哋会学数量塔、生物量塔同埋能量塔。咁究竟三款塔有啲咩嘅分别咧？系啦，呢一课咧，食物链系第一重功夫，食物网咧就系第二重功夫，就都系帮我哋去重温翻咧生产者同埋消费者佢哋嘅角色嘅。Chain six is about the ecosystem, so it shows a food chain in an ocean. So we have the unicellular phytoplankton, the creo, and the whale. So we can see the energy content of each trophic level in the box. In part A, we need to calculate the percentage decrease in the energy content from unicellular phytoplankton to the creo. For part A, the critical skills is the calculation. If the percentage change is positive value, so it means the percentage increase. So if the percentage change is negative value, it means percentage decrease. So we have the basic formula: new value minus the old value divided by the old value and times 100%. We have the answer: negative 90%. It means the percentage decrease is 90%. But now the question is asking percentage decrease directly. Surely, energy content of the grill is lower than that of the unicellular phytoplankton. But we expect that the answer should be positive value. So we change the formula a bit to be the old value minus the new value divided by the old value. So that's why the answer will be positive 90%, and it is the percentage decrease 90%, and it is the answer. Of course, although you have this negative 90%, and you know that percentage change is negative value, so it means percentage decrease. You can still get the answer. At least you need to know how to calculate. And for part B, give two reasons why there is a decrease in energy content from a lower trophic level to a higher trophic level. It is a very typical, straightforward question. We can really find the concept from the book. So the concept is that. How is energy lost from one trophic level to another? So we can see that the uneaten body material, ingested material of the organism, excretory products of the organism, and respiration. So the critical concept is energy loss between trophic levels. How is the energy loss? So we can see that some energy is not obtained by the organism of higher trophic level because not whole body of the prey is consumed or part of the food. Is not digestible, so that's why the organism in the higher trophic level cannot obtain all the energy. And some energy is lost by the organism of higher trophic level through excretion, respiration, or in form of heat. So you can see that once the organism they use the energy, so that particular energy cannot be transferred to next level. And for part C. In the other food chain, the producer is a tree, and the primary consumer is the caterpillar. So, would the percentage decrease in the energy content? That means, would the energy loss be greater or smaller than the value found in part A? So, for part C, the critical concept is that what do the consumers feed on actually? So, for the food chain number one, phytoplankton to the grill to the whale. So, we know that. The grill will feed on the whole phytoplankton, and the whale will feed on the whole grill. 
no matter whether they digest the grill or the grill can they digest the whole phytoplankton it doesn't matter at least they feed on the whole thing they eat the whole body of the phytoplankton the whale feed on the whole body of the grill but for the food chain number two tree to the caterpillar the caterpillar they only feed on the leaves of the tree so you can see that the uneaten body material so the energy stored in the uneaten body material is not passed to the higher trophic level so the answer will be the energy loss is greater in the food chain number two and the reason is that the caterpillar mainly feed on the leaves of the trees so leaving most of the part of the body mass of the tree unconsumed and some students they got the concept that oh percentage decrease would be greater that means the energy loss would be greater yes they are correct however the reason is not correct I think that because the trees have a larger biomass so that's why the energy loss will be greater statement itself is true the total biomass of the tree is much larger than the total biomass of the caterpillars but it doesn't make this as a correct reason imagine that what if okay we have a new species of insect or the caterpillar whatever they can really feed on the leaves the bark the the branches the stem the whole thing of the tree they can really eat the whole trees so no matter how big is the tree how large is the biomass of the tree so the energy loss is still very very low because this insect this caterpillar can really consume the whole tree question starts from the food chain it means the feeding relationship and the trophic level represents the energy flow so we talk about the energy loss in this question and maybe for the next question it may ask you what is the ultimate energy source of the food chain of course it is the sun light energy right and from the trophic level and energy loss we can extend the concept what is the importance of the producers what will happen or what is the consequence if all the plants they die and for the energy loss how could we reduce the energy loss for example we shorten the food chain from grass to the cow to the human being so what about we shorten it the man they really feed on the grass of course you may think that huh human being feeding on the grass is ridiculous also what about the human being feed on the choy sum feed on the vegetables feed on the fruit directly it's also a way to shorten the food chain after the food chain we talk about the pyramid of number biomass and energy and we can compare all these three pyramids i hope that you can develop a basic idea of the food chain and food web and what are the roles of the producer and the consumers Thank you.